Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen this episode. It is called the Wizard King Saw, so he's seeing something. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 12. Last episode, we went shopping! And on our way through Diagon Alley, we ran into Seke, who is on a mission to stop a purse snatcher who just stole the winnings of an old lady who beat Seke. So we're gonna find out what happens with that. It's Vanessa, uh, Noel, Asta, and Seke in the alley with Magna doing his gambling. That's Magna stuff. But remember guys, if you guys don't wanna wait for the next bunch of episodes, you guys want early access, check out that Patreon down below if you guys wanna support me and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like on the video and a nice comment down below, it really helps push me out there into the YouTube algorithm. It really means a lot, trust me. I don't know why I did like a weird little open hand bow, but thank you guys. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and the updates. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 12, when the Wizard King saw. They animated his face. Hilarious right there. They did though on their first mission. First snatcher's gone. He's booking it. In goes Asta. No hesitation. Ooh, he's got like cla oh, oh, I was about to say he can go through walls, but that's just the entrance. He's got like some fucking he's got a nimbus. All right, Sekai, let's see it. Shooting star. Oh, you can make like a fucking motorcycle. Yeah, I was about, I was about to, whoa, chill out there, Sekai. As he drives himself. That is cool though. That magic, whatever that is. Nice, okay, it's Assassin's Creed now. Oh, this is definitely Assassin's Creed rooftop jumping. Cause this man's a physical beast. Throw your sword. Oh! Ah! I called it! My bandit's cloud wind. That's cool. Wow, good job, Seke. You got him. Why did he fall back like that? The way it was like a purple magic looking seal right there definitely resembled poison. With a little dagger like that makes a lot of sense, but it's like, was that magic poison or real poison in the knife? Cut to the intense music with him talking about his dreams. Come on, Seka, you'll be fine. If this isn't that exact arty sea world meme that they just posted, I swear to God. Like, motherfucker, I've known you for 12 minutes. Literally, 12 minutes total. This, this, is, this is a parody. This is satire. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Huh. Numbing poison? And he's got Vanessa rubbing his fucking feet. Sounds like heaven to me. That's how Vanessa. I don't trust this old lady. And I don't trust this old lady. That's the Wizard King? Oh, I mean, if I was the king, I'd 100% be doing that too. But he. 28. Uh, Nova Chrono. Nova Chrono. Looking for new magic. Oh, I agree. That'd be dope. I would 100% do that. That's you know up there? Oh my god. Why does this Wizard King sound so cool? He sounds just like a curious, decent dude. Who's very powerful when it comes to magic, because he's clearly able to do a lot. 
Mimosa. I just had mimosas the other day. I like mimosas. Vermilion. I recognize that name. Salim is the... Oh, okay. The Heart Kingdom. Different kingdom. Heart Kingdom. Makes sense. Makes sense. One of those guys. It's interesting how Klaus is super tough on you know, super hard. Yeah, look, he's so pro so respectful to fucking this guy. Like, look at this. So Mimosa and Yuno are the recruits for the Golden Dawns. That's where I remember Salim from. Yeah, see, this is... Okay. Now, maybe... That's hilarious. That is facts, though. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we know you're some sort of royalty or nobility. Come on. That's a good... That is a good point, Klaus. Yeah, no, that is a good point. This is 100% feeling like a setup. What's that super mysterious, dark, fucking malicious looking cloud storm coming right after us? Ooh, 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 okay. What's up with that 3D work? That animation looked fucking in. Insane. Oh, we got more bandits on clouds. Oh, oh, nice. What are you noticing about those skull chains, Klaus? Give me the details. I want to know. All that while falling midair and caught himself. You know, it's pretty badass. Right? Mm hmm. Makes you. Does, does make you think a lot. Relax, Salim. I like how they're giving me these questions through the point of view of Klaus, so we don't suspect him, you know? Nah, why are you so curious? No. Uh uh. You can ask me about my past, but no. I'm saying that's going way too far. Come on, Salim. So she, Mimosa, is related to the leader, or the captain of the Crimson Lions, because his last name is Vermilion too. Good to know. That's adorable. <laughs> I think we should have already been on our way. I don't know why. We're... I love seeing everyone, but come on. We just got attacked by fucking bandits. I was about to say, that's such a super rich thing to say. Like they walk in your house. I've never seen such a small house. It looks like a closet. I love it. It's so cute. That's the end of the episode. Fuck, man. As soon as I love this piano song, but as soon as I hear it, I'm just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So a lot of questions were raised in this episode, I'll be honest. I, first off, I just want to point out that that whole Seke Asta little thing at the beginning when he got stabbed in his toe reminded me so much of the latest RDC World video that they just posted. Where they're like, two anime characters know each other for literally five minutes, and then one of them takes a fucking life-ending attack for the other one's like, continue my dreams, please, tell my son. He's like, you have a son? I just like, it's just... Oh, hilarious. Reminded me so much of that. But a lot of questions were raised in this one. Like, um, fuck. So first off, I we got to meet the Wizard King, Julius Nova Chrono, who's the 28th 
Wizard King, who I really, I don't want to say I really like him, but clearly he is, like, he, he reminds me of, like, a Minato. Like, just in the way that he's, like, so powerful that he's just, like, curious about stuff. Like, Minato, like, if, if any of the four Hokage, well, I mean, now it's, like, fucking seven, but if any of the four Hokage and Naruto would go around in disguise and just, like, listen to what people have to say or find new strong it would it's not gonna be the it's not i mean maybe hashirama toby rama and fucking uh, uh saru toby are definitely not doing that it's definitely gonna be minato he's just kind of like a a fun loving go with the flow kind of dude who happens to be insanely powerful and the strongest guy in in the, in the kingdom or the village i just got minato vibes from him which i love minato to death so that's the only reason why so far so far with a lot of people in the show i don't trust I, I like him so far and with the fact that he seems to be going against what the typical regime is and it sounds kind of weird but like i say like zuko from avatar even though he's a prince even though he's royalty they want to carry him in, in the thing i forget what it's called when they carry you so you don't have to walk and they just, you know, and he, he literally wants to just walk 10 feet. And they're like, yo, we'll carry you over there. And he's like, guys, come on. You know, like, we're royalty, but you're taking it a little too far. So, like, I just, they're like, well, like, what are you doing? Like, his homie Marks was like, what are you doing? Do you not realize that position you're in? You're the wizard king. And he's like, oh, what is, is that you know up there? Is that the new recruit? I'll see you later, Marks. I'm gonna go fucking do some shit. Like, he just seems like he just wants to have a good time. You know, you can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be bad at that. He just wants to have a good time um but so again thank you kaecilius for letting me know that we have the the noble realm the common realm the forsaken realm all in the spade kingdom or is that ours because then we have the heart and the diamond kingdom as well yes yeah, spade which may, makes sense because clo three heart you know clover just makes sense because we're like the, the spade or like the then the wait i just realized are we not is this not like a deck of cards how, how am I just realizing this? We're the spade. We're a clover. We got the heart and the diamonds. What are we missing? Fucking, uh... What, what else is there? Diamonds? Heart? Oh, heart, uh, diamond hearts, clubs, and spades, right? We're missing clubs, which is just like the uh, little triangle, the little heart upside down triangle that looks like little butt cheeks on bottom. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like an idiot, but you guys know. I just realized. That's crazy. This world is a deck of cards, or at least I wonder why they're named after that. But my biggest concern this episode, 100% has to do with you know, because I don't trust Salim at all. He's clear. We've seen his the only reason I don't trust him is because it's not like we need to see his true intentions. We've already seen him a couple episodes ago, like seven. We already we already saw him, so we know his true intentions. That mixed on the fact that. I understand where William was coming from. He was like, yo, take the recruits with you. You know, they just want, they, they want magic knights for the, the name of magic, for having magic knights. Just the name of it should deter some crime. But if the threat is not like one of those fake bodyguards, like, oh, we're just a bodyguard for a celebrity. Nothing really. We don't think anything's going to happen. If the threat is real, like if there's actual real people, which they they can vet like sources and stuff. They should have a somewhat clue if it's if something real is going to happen or not. The fact that real people came and it's only Klaus and two new recruits against a single client or target. That's that's like weird. It's like it makes sense what you would want to bring two recruits to get them trained up. And it's the first mission. It's a good first mission. But that is only if it's like a fake threat. If it's a real threat, why would you only have Klaus, you know, and then also what's up with the skull chain they were wearing why were they not targeting salim it really did seem like they went specifically for you know it's like it's just so you know so many questions to be had so many questions that i need answered i don't trust william whatsoever a hundred percent you know there was a lot of and it is cool that uh mimosa who's on this team is the sister or at least relative of Fuego Leon, Fu Fuego Leon, Vermilion, who's on the Crimson Lions. I like that. Like I know I was told there's only real three main, is it royal families, right? Three main royal families or is there only one royal family? I know, no, there's many nobilities. There's three main royal families and that would be Silva, Vermilion, and I forgot the other one. 
But yes, so those are the three. So it's just, it's, it's a big world they've created. And I want to just dive on in there. I'm curious. I like it so far. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you guys are, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. I appreciate you, Dapper Squad. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Have a great day, you guys. Peace out.